Colleagues and friends, thank you for joining us for another session of the virtual operating room. Our guest today is Dr. Mustafa Bashkaya from the University of Wisconsin. He is truly one of the most gifted, technically, neurosurgeons I've ever met. His attention to detail, surgical results, and neurosurgical teachings are unparalleled. He is the um, director of scalp surgery at the University of Wisconsin. Today, he's going to talk to us about the so-called inoperable gliomas. Mustafa, sincerely appreciate your friendship. I really have so much respect for your technical skills, for what you have done for my premier surgery, and it's an honor to have you with us today. Please go. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, it's my honor. Uh, and I echo the same thing for you. I admire your skills, work, work ethics and hardworking. Again, it's so appreciated that you continue doing these teaching activities and I think worldwide uh, is well received and recognized. And thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, uh, today I'll talk about uh, operating on so-called inoperable gliomas. I have no disclosures. Uh, this is our lovely city medicine as uh, we welcome everybody after pandemics. And anatomy allows us to localize the lesion correctly and all that will help us to choose the correct surgical approach and in surgical resection of gliomas is possible and i think it improves the outcome even in the difficult locations like brainstem and thalamus and how we do this we have to go to the lab okay without lab without studying this in the lab these techniques skills anatomy you won't be able to achieve uh, 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 good results, okay, in my opinion. And, and every neurosurgeon, as said by Professor Yashagin, should spend at least a year in the neuroanatomy, skull based anatomy lab, and the microsurgical skill lab. Okay? So, anatomy dictates everything. And I hear, I forget, I see, I remember, I do, I understand. I, I, I mean, this is, this is the example, okay. You, you read, you listen, you listen to mentors, masters. Uh, that's why we are doing this. This. That's why Dr. Aaron Kwan Godol spent days, years to establish this neurosurgical atlas, right? For you guys. What did he gain? Nothing. Other than training you, educating you guys. Okay? And that's the pride we have. So read, listen, watch, dissect. Then you go to operating room. Then you will understand better. You, when you understand better, you perform better. Okay. So I'll thank you and thank you for your time and participation. And I thank you, thanks Luke for your uh, organization and uh, uh, Professor Aaron Cohen Godol. Uh, I always appreciate and grateful uh, to you what you do for uh, neurosurgical training and education globally. Thank you. Beautiful work, uh, Mustafa. Really uh, spectacular. The gentle manipulations, the uh, patient technique, preservation of normal structures. You have truly been the protege of uh, Ghazi uh, Yashar Gil. Uh, 